have learned our major scale and now we're looking to build up some steam you know let's get some speed going on this so on the sixth string we know where each of our notes is uh, we'll know that uh, for instance on the fifth fret we've got an a and we're going to start with our second finger and we're not going to be doing any shifting we're having our fingers close to the fretboard and we're bent at each knuckle and we're going to i'm just going to play that scale the we're going to stick with a today as a demonstration <laughs> I went back up the scale instead of playing a power chord I just went with my little finger one and two and three and four and finger because that's where it should have been and um, we're gonna we can also play it um, with triplets one and one and a two and a is I just played a three note run, I call it. And we'll start from the bottom and run up, 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 back, 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 up. technique that's my number one go-to when I want to go fast let me just use a little ar arpeggio there and that is your number one though that this and really work on this work on it with a metronome so you can keep really good time with it another thing that you can do that gives you it sounds like you're going a lot faster doesn't it a little trip oh uh, it's a little actually it's a subdivided triplet and later on in another video I'm going to show you how you can really use that subsequent video but today we're just trying to get some basic things and get your speed started up on that major scale off the root six and 
And I like uh, to play open position scales also. You can really run because you got a lot of open strings you can play with. But generally, I'm gonna go to my root six or root five, and that'll be the next video. But I will be going to that root six. Cool about it is you can also uh, play different chords. You can just play a chord like that and like a. I just went over and I shifted using that same pattern for different chords. So very useful. Now I did use a root five there quickly. Now to play an arpeggio. You can also uh, do the four note scale. speed that up a little bit using slides on your scale is a great idea too staying in position timing a little bit you can go up just play a little arpeggio there on the air end so use uh slides as a big part of your scale very simple to do it's just getting a there i was using a jerking motion you also play and play and play with it, but that's a very important part of your scales. A great way to play scales is to use hammer-ons. Utilize the pull-off there. Hammer-on and a pull-off. smooth at that. You utilize them all over the place. Utilize them, mix them up, and have fun with it. And of course, cheating is always an option. And in this case, I'm using a Line 6 DL4. Sounds like I'm going fast and I'm just letting the M do all the work. So that's a, a great option. There are so many different effects that you can use uh, to make you sound like you're going fast when you're not really. And that's just one of the options. There's so many ways you can play that. I can't go into it right now. Now it's time for our practice uh, session and I hope you hang around and get real good at uh, the three and four note primarily is what we're gonna be working on. And remember you can speed this up or slow it down on YouTube under settings. The three note run. Back, up, up, back, up, up, back, up, up.
back down. Play slowly. Faster. Mm -hmm. 